microorganisms are present in almost all the places on earth despite their minute size they play an important role in our lives some of them are beneficial in many ways whereas some others are harmful and cause diseases let's discuss about the friendly microorganisms first microorganisms are used for various purposes they are used in the preparation of curd butter and cake curd contains many microorganisms so there is a bacterium which is present in the curd named lactobacillus lactobacillus helps in the conversion of curd from milk it multiplies in the milk and convert it into curd bacteria are also used in the making of cheese pickles and many other food items yeast is used for making breads pastries and cakes yeast powder is added with flour while kneading the dough after some time the dough rises and becomes double in size this is because yeast has the ability to reproduce quickly and while doing so it produces carbon dioxide during respiration purpose of the gases fill the dough and increases its volume this is the basis of the use of yeast in the baking industry microorganisms are also used for commercial purposes these are used for the large scale production of alcohol wine and acetic acid which is also called vinegar yeast is used for commercial production of alcohol and wine for this purpose yeast is grown on natural sugar natural sugar is present in grains like barley wheat rice or crushed fruit juices when yeast is added to these natural sugar after some time it converts these natural sugar into alcohol and this whole process of conversion of sugar into alcohol is known as fermentation and this process of fermentation was first discovered by louis pasteur in 1857 microorganisms have some medicinal use also whenever you are sick you will go and see a doctor and as a part of your treatment doctor provides some medicines antibiotic tablets capsules or injection and you will be surprised to know that the source of these medicines is microorganisms these medicines kill or slow down the growth of disease causing microorganisms antibiotics only treat bacterial infection these are used in the form of pills capsules tablet cream spray or through injections nowadays a number of antibiotics are being produced from bacteria and fungi penicillin streptomycin tetracycline and erythromycin are some of the commonly used antibiotics the antibiotics are manufactured by growing specific microorganisms and are used to cure a variety of diseases antibiotics are also used to cure the diseases in plants and animals it is important to remember that antibiotic should be taken when needed and only on the advice of a qualified doctor while taking antibiotics you should take some precautions first of all complete the course prescribed by the doctor even if you feel better follow the directions carefully do not share your antibiotics with others if you take antibiotics when not needed or in the wrong doses it may make the drug less effective when you might need it in the future and if you take it unnecessarily it may kill the beneficial bacteria present in the body don't save your antibiotics for later use microorganisms are also used in the production of vaccines you must have seen children and infants are given vaccination and do you know what is the reason behind that when a disease causing microbe such as viruses and bacteria attack our body first of all it will enter and multiply our immune system produces antibodies to fight the invaders the 
the body also remembers how to fight the microbes if it enters again so if any dead or weak microbes are introduced into a healthy body the body will fight and kills the invading bacteria by producing suitable antibodies the antibodies remain in the body and we are protected from the disease causing microbes forever this is how a vaccine works several diseases including cholera tuberculosis smallpox hepatitis can be prevented by vaccination vaccines help the body recognize a disease causing microorganism by imitating an infection so they cause an immune response when the body encounter the same pathogen that's why during childhood vaccinations are given to protect them from several diseases it is very essential to protect all children that is why necessary vaccines are available in the nearby hospitals these days vaccines are made on a large scale from microorganism to protect humans and other animals from several diseases microorganisms play a vital role in increasing the fertility of the soil we know nitrogen is present in the atmosphere in quite a large quantity and plants need nitrogen for their growth but they can't get this free nitrogen directly there is a bacteria called rhizobium which is present in the roots of leguminous plants leguminous plants are those plants which are having a knot like structure in their roots for example pulses beans pea bacteria and blue green algae then fix the nitrogen present in the atmosphere and convert it into compounds of nitrogen now this nitrogen is in usable form it is mixed in the soil and from the soil it can be utilized by the plants microorganisms also work as a cleaning agent of our environment some microorganisms decompose the organic matter which is present in the dead plants dead animals and animal waste and convert them into simple substances they also decompose the harmful and smelly dead remains of plants and animals and animal waste into harmless substances and they also help in recycling the nutrients which are present in the dead plants and animals which is present in the nature and which can be used as food by green plants i really wonder what would happen to our environment if there were no microorganisms now we can conclude that microorganisms are our friends and play a very important role in our life and in our environment they are used in making of bread pastries pickles and many other food items they are used in the commercial production of alcohol wine acetic acid they are used in the manufacturing of many medicines antibiotics and vaccines also they help in cleaning the environment they are the decomposer and natural cleaner of our environment they help increasing the fertility of the soil hope you enjoyed learning about the friendly microorganisms today Please like, share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.